Hi right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Vasil and I'm restoring this 1974 Columbia 45. This here is the boat currently sitting in the Coronado Bay. In this episode, uh, Southern California came back to Southern California. It's finally sunny outside and it looks like it's gonna stay this way for a minute. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna put some locks on the front door or the front hatch to enter this boat and the windows to my left and right also need security because at this point you can walk right in right into this boat and uh take all my shit and i i don't want to give up my shit so let's secure this boat here's the front hatch this is it this is the front door um again you guys may have seen this this is now my uh my door holder my solar panel my only active solar panel is holding my front door and the hatch is weathered to say the least because of all the rains and the age of this boat so normally uh Pardon me while I struggle to pull this door apart. Okay, so this door, antique, we'll call it, uh, this hatch sits like this, and then the door would close and be underneath of it. This was the old lock mechanism, and as you can see, the hatch, or the, the latch, is not there anymore. So I got a brand new latch. We're gonna put this on this door. At this point, uh, it's gonna stay like this for another couple weeks. Uh, I just need to secure it. Second order of business is gonna be these uh, very fancy, very fine uh, glass windows. Um, extremely luxurious. But here, here we go. That's that's it. Yep. So uh, not good. Very very not good. This needs to be secured. So uh, I'm going to do it very primitively. I'm going to drill some holes uh, on the other side and I got some nuts and bolts that are going to be just holding this window in. Uh, I hope that will deter somebody that wants to come in if they are looking to get in. Uh, obviously, if you are of the belief that you're going to get in the boat, you're going to get in the boat. So this window is not going to stop you, but at least uh, it will make it more difficult. So let's let's take care of that. The other side is, I don't believe is bad. Um, it's not coming out. So that, that doesn't need a whole lot of work. Let's check. Let's check all the windows actually while, while we're here. I, I don't know the condition. I haven't checked them in a minute. So this, this one's good. And um, let's check this one. So good. So I think this is the only one that really needs to be secured because that, that's a problem. Um, sure is. So let's, let's take care of that as well. Uh, the reason I'm securing this boat is because I, well one, both boats just should be secure. You shouldn't just be able to walk in anytime you want. Like, hey, let me take all your shit. No, that's not good. So uh, that's the first reason because that's naturally how you do things. You have locks on things that are important to you. And also because yesterday I finally started packing my bags. So I packed uh, two bags and started bringing things on board. So they're not all of my stuff, but at this stage, uh, I finally made the commitment to move on this boat. It's it's one of those things where like you just gotta commit and uh, whatever happens, happens, just go for it. So I started bringing my stuff on board and I would like for this boat to be secure so that no pirates can, can jack it. Let's take a look at the latch. This is it and it does bend in a 90 degree angle. So the idea here is that it will mount like this and then come around and sit on the door. Problem being, um, this piece of wood is in the way. So I either have to cut this piece of wood or put a spacer on this door, but this little lip also has to be cut or notched out in order to allow me uh, to install this piece. I'm gonna look around for some wood on board before I notch this out. I just wanna see if I have a piece that will sit flush like this and that will allow me basically to uh, space this out. There's basically only one attachment style to this, so it has to go to the, the top hatch and the door. It cannot go on the side, so I can't, I can't just put it in the fiberglass right here. And the reason for that is yes, it will lock this door. However, it will not lock this latch. So if you're, if you're a wicked schmott pirate, you could just walk up and be like, hey, your door's locked, but hey, fuck you, um, I can get in. So that's the reason that, uh, this latch needs to basically attach to here and then be secured on the door. Okay guys, after much debate and trying out different pieces of wood to see if I can make a spacer on here. Um, again, I hate doing this. Uh, I've talked about this before. It seems like I am doing uh, temporary work, temporary work in order to 
to get things done and I, I have a feeling this door is going to be no exception so this is going to be redone the door is going to be redone so i just need this boat secured so my stuff does not get stolen so my idea is i'm just going to notch it out right here uh this piece of wood is different so again this is not the same piece of wood as the hatch and uh this is just the lip so you can grab it with your fingers when you're pulling it back so i'm going to notch it using my multi-tool to create enough space and that should give me enough clearance to mount this latch on this door and we'll just have to deal with the temporary situation but at least this door will be secure here's the first thing we're going to do so these are the screws that came with uh this hardware and if we take a look obviously this screw is much longer than the door obviously when um, it's installed it's probably gonna be like this but i will have to put a spacer on this end so that uh screws aren't sticking out and i don't accidentally uh, throw my palm on there i think i'll be fine through the top portion but on the bottom portion i will not so what this means is um i will have to install the latch left of this fiberglass because if i put it here obviously the screws um will run into the fiberglass and that's not good so i'm gonna have to make some marks on this side so i'm clear of the fiberglass and line this up and make my marks with a sharpie where i need to notch out this wood here we go just making some marks where the notches are going to be That's pretty good. Okay, let's notch this out. This is one of my favorite, most favorite tools, uh, multi-tools. I love these things, they're amazing. Again, guys, everything on this boat is um, old. So actually both sides came off. They just, they just cracked, so. That's okay. That's what we'll work with. Yep. Cool. And this is why I love the multi-tool. When you got a fresh blade on there, it cuts super straight and you can make these very precise notches in a lot of wood. So this is what we notched out and bam, there you go. Easy breezy uh, lemon squeezy. Thank you very much. This door back and do a quick test. So again, this door, see, it sags and then you have to lift it up into place. Very good. Okay, so let's put the latch back in like that and see how we did. There we go. I think, I think, damn it. Okay, hold on, let me do it again. There we go. That will work. That is how it's gonna sit. There's enough space. For everything there's enough space for me to insert the lock and i think we should be good to go so now i just have to measure up the holes where all of the attachment points will be and start drilling those holes this portion needs to be done relatively precisely so i need to make an outline of where this sits because when i lift this up you can see that this hinge right here is where the attachment points are so basically um, i need to stay as still as possible when i lift it up because when I do, it could shift the attachment point um, underneath of this bracket. L let me show you what that looks like. This is what I'm talking about. So these, these are where the holes are gonna go. So when I close this up, it closes like this and then like that. So when I open it back up, again, I need to make sure, see how it's moving. I need to make sure that I make very precise attachment points so that it doesn't shift uh, and I don't have to drill a lot of holes to make this happen there we go the marks have been made uh, i apologize it's kind of hard to see because i'm using a red sharpie um stupid me forgot forgot pens and pencils so red sharpie it is but there's the marks it's one two three four now i gotta find an appropriately sized drill bit so i can drill these holes 964 is the drill bit size that i chose so uh boat is rocking this is going to be slightly challenging but Again, great wood. Everything is 
just cracking because it's been exposed to moisture. Yeah, that'll work. Line everything up and time to put the screws in. This thing is super quiet because it's got a hydraulic hammer in there for a driver. So that's why it, it just does all the work. All you gotta do is press the trigger. And I'm not squeezing the trigger that hard because I know the condition of this wood is not the best. So I don't wanna tear the wood apart. So I'm just gonna let the tool do the work. And it's doing a fantastic job at it pretty good that really does uh look like it's gonna work only thing is i am not 100 percent sure how i'm gonna do this yet so i guess i can get the uh coordinates on the side by holding it like this and draw an x or something um i don't know let me let me think about how to mark this inside because i i don't know if i can hold this in while i open it um, my finger will be in the way let's figure this out here's what i'm thinking so if I lift this up, right, I place this down and then I can check where the latch is hitting. So I basically have to move it up until this is able to clear. Then I can put my thumb on here and no, that's not gonna work. So um, let's see. So if I bring this up, see if it's screwed in, that will catch. So again, let's get a good point for this. So if this attaches like this, put my thumb over it and Yeah, this is like a puzzle. There we go, I think that will work. I think that will work. Having marked these four holes, so I'm about to drill, but I've made a um, change in my strategy. And this is what the change is. So if we take a look at here, right? So these screws are way too long. So if I maintain the same screw size everywhere. When I pull this back, pull this back, okay. When I pull this back, uh, basically the door is now hitting the screws. So I need to put a spacer here to avoid a potentially very bad accident because those screws will will get you um, if, if you hit them with your hand or your head or something. So I will need to put a spacer here to make sure that these screws do not uh, damage me. But I was able to find some shorter screws on board and these are going to be what I use to mount this portion. So they will not be going through the door. And if I can't find any more to replace these, I will make a spacer on the other side. But for now, I need to resize my drill bit and drill new holes so I can use these screws. And voila, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. And looks like we have a functioning latch. We can open it and we can close it. So that's good. Next step is... Like I said, let's deal with these screws. I'm gonna see if I can find the same um, width of screws and a little bit shorter. I highly doubt it because I'm on a boat and usually I have to go to Home Depot to get more hardware. But let's check if I have any of those screws. If not, I will be making a spacer so that I don't get damaged by those screws. Let's take some measurements. So I need a square that is roughly uh, we're gonna oversize it a little bit. So two and a half inches by, let me see. Let's do two and a half by two and a half. Guys, let's uh, put this multi-tool to the test and see how good we can cut a square freehand. First, uh, if you're gonna do a very precise cut, set the settings to a low speed, that way you can etch the square. And then on this one, you can actually uh, just increase the speed. Some of the other tools, like the DeWalt, I actually like to have a trigger. It's variable, but this one, uh, the only variability is um, on this wheel and then you turn it on using the trigger. So let's set it to setting number two and etch it first. I actually ended up making a second square because the first one I made was on the edge and uh, I didn't take note. That's where uh, it was damaged for when I took it out. So I made a second one that is in much better condition. So let's clean this up and then put it in place. By pressing this piece of wood up against the screws, I'm just making my marks. 
and this is an easy way to do it just press the wood pretty hard into the screws and uh, there you go you'll have your marks and there we go awesome so if we look underneath no screws are seen and that means we will not be getting snagged so next thing is let's close this up and see uh, how it functions with a lock the short answer is uh, it does not so this spacer is now actually preventing this door from going farther in and I do not have enough space so now uh, let's notch out a little bit of my spacer and then see if we can get the door further in we all guys um, I got good news and I got bad news the good news is everything functions normally as far as this portion uh, bad news is I need a, I need an end stop on this portion because this door does not have an end stop so it keeps going so again we have some leeway um, you can't pull a door out vertically because of these slides however you can pull it forward and that will give someone enough motivation to get past the door so i basically need to take this portion out and then put an end stop here to prevent the door from moving forward hey guys here's my solution to the problem i know it's very rudimentary so bear with me i know a lot of these things i'm doing are shortcuts but um i've taken this latch which is over here and i've screwed it on here so now it effectively acts as a doorstop so this this can no longer go forward so when i have a lock it is you can't can't pull this door out so for the time being i think a stupid pirate will be deterred by this system a crafty pirate will get in either way by breaking the windows or figuring something out bringing a screwdriver on board but either way all the dumb pirates will be off this boat when this boat is properly redone when this slash is properly redone uh hopefully i will deter all pirates but in the time being this will work up next let's go to this glass so the point being uh is that this just needs to be prevented from being accessible easily so there is um plywood and fiberglass combination all along so there's a lip on the opposite side of this window I'm going to screw a bunch of these in there uh, and bring this window in. I'm not gonna caulk it at this point because I will be addressing these windows very, very soon. But in the meantime, uh, again, a crafty pirate will just smash this glass. So this is just to keep the stupid ones out. So let's put a couple screws in this and make this better. Put a couple screws, where are they? Uh, along, along the bottom and the front and the top of the window and now this window should be much better so i don't think anybody is going to be getting in here anytime soon and that makes me feel a lot better so guys for overall um as far as security those were my two main concerns was that window and then this forward hatch so now that uh that window is no longer able to be opened and i can secure this i feel so much better because now i can start moving a lot more of my stuff on board and yes, I still will lose sleep over it, but um, it will not be to the same level as it was before. And this window feels a lot better. This will also help with any rain that we have. I should have done this so much uh, sooner, but at least it's done now. And there's my bag with some of my stuff and it's time to move in guys. So again, everything's a mess. We're getting ready for moving. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.